A new naughty or nice list comes out just in time for Christmas. It reveals how companies advertise and celebrate the religious holiday inside their stores. Joining us now is Matt Staver, the founder and chairman of Liberty Council. Welcome to the program. Thank you, my pleasure to be with you. Who is on your naughty and nice list? Let's start with naughty. Well, we have 23 commercial retailers on the nice list and about 14 on the naughty list. The naughty list used to be longer than the nice list, but over the years that has reversed, which is a good trend. Uh, one of the uh, organizations that's on there, one of the companies is J.C. Penney's. In fact, not only is it on there in their advertisement, but also even just this past weekend, visiting J.C. Penney's in some places around the country, they're playing Christian Christmas carols. So they have actually moved to the nice list, which is a nice trend that we have seen over the years. Now, you don't rank them. You just sort of put everybody in a lump. Give me an example of some of the naughties and why they're naughty. Well, some of them that are naughty are Dick's Sporting Goods because they don't mention anything about uh, Christmas. But others uh, that are naughty also are uh, Barnes & Nobles. Uh, they don't mention anything uh, about Christmas. And there's... Uh, 14 different ones that we have on the naughty list as well. Uh, we have others on the naughty list, such as Walgreens. And Best Buy used to be an option for people to shop as opposed to Radio Shack. Radio Shack was always on the naughty list, never gone to the nice list. And but so Best Buy has for years been on the nice list and now unfortunately moved to the naughty and, list. And this means that they don't use the word Christmas. Is that right? That's right. That's right. In fact, um, what we do is we look at retailers that pretend that Christmas doesn't exist, but they want your money. Those go <laughs> on the naughty list. And those are retailers that don't mention Christmas. Or if they have a Christmas tree, they name it a holiday tree. They have no Christmas music. They have no Christmas mention at all. On the other hand, the others mention Christmas. They actually call Christmas trees Christmas trees. And oftentimes they play Christian Christmas music as well. What inspired you to start the naughty and the nights list? Well, it's part of our friend or foe Christmas campaign to educate or, if necessary, to litigate to make sure that Christmas is not censored from the public square. But there was a trend that happened where you couldn't find a Christmas tree. They were all called holiday trees. And the Christmas tree doesn't celebrate any other holiday other than Christmas. So when that came to be apparent, we began to have the naughty and nice list. And one major shift early on was Walmart. Walmart did not mention Christmas. The holiday trees were there, not Christmas trees. And when you went to the checkout cashier, and if you said Merry Christmas, they were instructed to only return Happy Holidays as the greeting. And the next year they changed, and from that on, they've been on the nice list. So they're the world's largest retailer. They've done the right thing, and they set a good trend for others as well. Well, it seems like you're empowering Americans who want to put Christ back in Christmas. Thank you so much, Matt Staver, the founder and chairman of Liberty Council. Thank you, my pleasure.